Samab offers an opportunity for a different uh, approach to a, med to a person who cannot take a, uh, a bisphosphonate, either oral bisphosphonate or an IV bisphosphonate. Okay, now one of the, you're saying it's for a very select population. There's also a concern about the cost. There's a, you know, somewhat appreciable cost associated with this agent. Can you talk about that? Sure. We, we can talk about both the medical and the, uh, the financial implications. Um, many people cannot take the bisphosphonates, um, either because they can't uh, safely swallow it, uh, if it's the oral form or in either form, if they have impaired renal function uh, with an estimated uh, GFR less than 35, then they shouldn't be on uh, any bisphosphonate, whether it's oral or whether it's IV. But if there's an, a good indication for uh, reduction in the risk of hip fracture, uh, then the, the new medication, denosumab, is a, a very good option. It's a member of the TNF, the tumor necrosis family, superfamily, inhibitor superfamily. And, and that means that there could be a risk of immune suppression, so that has to be considered. In the studies that were presented to the FDA, there was no indication of that, but post-marketing studies are underway. Now, this is a medication that's given subcutaneously twice a year. So we're looking at approximately $850 each time you uh, give this medication, plus the costs of the office visit. Um, so the total cost um, over a, a year could be approximately $1,700. Contrast this with the use of generic medications such as Alendronate, uh, which even though there's the inconvenience of taking it every week or every month orally, um, you're looking at uh, approximately $100 a year. Oh, so there's a difference there. A big difference. Okay.